previously on the Truck Chronicles. Vegas Airport about to leave to go to Dallas to pick up my truck. Yo, Hirschback, they show love, man. I can't lie. Like, like I got a nice ass room, refrigerator, microwave. You know what I'm saying, like, I can't complain. This is my truck, man. I wish I had a freight liner, but it gave me international. So I just got to my shipper. You mean um I pull it up, she asked for my license number, all this extra shit, you know what I'm saying? She asked for it so she could write down. Um I don't know what they what they for me ship over here, but I'm finna find out soon once I get my bills. But um yeah, she told me to pull up in the road, so I backed up in here, back to Rex to this green truck. And um she told me when they call me, you feel me, just slide my tandems all the way back and then you know give me a door number. So this is literally my first load, you know what I mean? And um this shit is, man, this shit is, what? This shit is light for real. In fact, I get to the crib, get my dog, you know what I'm saying, and uh, do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying, I definitely need to go get some, pick up some sheets from the crib, some pillows and all that. So, right now, I'm gonna just hop in my motherfucking sleep and Mac and do what I gotta do, man. Wait for them to call me. I'm gonna let y'all know what I get. And I'm gonna show y'all how I slide these tandems too. You know what I mean? Shit's light. But I'm gonna fuck with y'all, man. Should be premiere. Let's get this money, man. Yo, so it's about fucking 11 o'clock, man. Got to the ship around like 5, 6. And I'm just now leaving. I had to slide my tandems. I had a little trouble sliding my tandems, but we're good now. So now I'm about to go to Love's and wait and shit. And, uh, yeah, man, we're going to go to Arizona. Probably drive like four hours and then take it down and then start driving like four in the morning. So, yeah, I'm going to go wait and shit. I'm going to get up with y'all. I just took a shower and shit. Remind y'all, if you become a trucker, you know what I'm saying? And probably what most of y'all are, because that's why y'all probably watching this, probably want to be one trucker or, or inspired to be one. Um, Make sure y'all get a Loves Royalty card. It's yellow, look like this. Buy one from the Loves, you know what I'm saying? This right here, and once you download the motherfucking, you download that, um, the the mobile app too. You know i you calculate all your points. So every time you buy something from Loves, you scan this, you add points, and for me, you, you go get your gas, you slice, you scan this afterwards as points. So um, you reach a certain amount of amount of, amount of gas, um, you get certain points. You get certain points, you get free showers and all that. So basically, every day I get a free shower. You track all where the loves is. That's how I trip plan. I actually, trip plan with the loves app, knowing where I can stop at and stuff like that. Take a break or or use the bathroom, whatever. So um, you can actually map your route for me and um, see where all the love stops are. So make sure y'all do that. Another thing. What I like to do is, for me, if I don't take a shower every day, it's every other day. I mean, um, every morning though, I wake up, I have my fill wipes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen in the last in previous video, I have fill wipes. So every morning I get my fill wipes, do my lotion, and um, get my toothpaste and my um, toothbrush. Wake up in the morning, come go back into, into the truck stop, or if I'm at a truck stop, for me, have water on me, use water, wipe my face, brush my teeth. And go on, I feel, like a, I feel like I took a shower, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a new man, you wash your face when you wake up. So that's what I do if I don't take a shower every, every, every day, that's what I do. Appreciate y'all support. I'm about to go on the inside the motherfucking truck, go to sleep, wake up. It's probably like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and head over to Arizona, man. I'ma holla at you I'm in New Mexico right now, and I'm going into the border control. I don't know if they about to go inside the truck and see, or they better just look at my paperwork. I don't look like a criminal, right? A new experience. That's what the, that's what trucking is, man. Like you're gonna you're gonna go through all types of stuff, all types of new experiences. The border control. I'm about to go in this motherfucker right now. See what happens. So I just went through that motherfucker. That shit was fast as hell. Like I guess it's just like they got like little sensors that look in your truck and it tells you if you need to stop or not. But I just went right past, went right through that thing. You know what I'm saying? I guess it was that easy. You know, it's a lot of interesting things when you a trucker, man. Like you never know what you're gonna run into, and that's the excitement of this shit. Get money. See the world, and um, shit. Plot with your next move, man. You got all the time to think. So you want to start a business? Think about starting a business, or you want to listen to a podcast and for me learn something, read something. This is the time to do it. On the road driving. Right now I'm in Arizona. I'm about 200 miles away from my destination. Um, I had to stop and do my rest break. You know what I mean so, man. Nice views though. You know what I mean look at that. I'm not thinking Arizona Grand Canyon or shit like that, but I'm saying nice little view and all that. So I got to the receiver back then, dropped it off. It's quick and easy, not like the shipper, man. The shipper took like fucking six hours, but got the paperwork. We out of here, man. It's a 
fuck out of here. Close these door and get out of here. So, just got done, man. So now, I'm gonna do my empty call on the tablet. And after I do an empty call, I'm gonna close my doors. Well, actually, I'm gonna close my doors first and all that. Do my empty call. And I'm gonna PC to a truck stop and shut down for the night, man, because I ran out of hours. And when I get my hours back, I'm gonna head to Vegas, head to the crib, and um, I'm basically off till Monday. Get back on the road on Monday. So I'm going home to get everything situated, get an air fryer, all that shit, man. So, I mean, Tune into the next video, man. I'm gonna be talking about my first load, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically just letting y'all know like shit, what not to do and what to do. You know what I mean I learned a lot of valuable lessons on my first load. So before I leave my receiver, I slide into my empty call. Sometimes you gotta there you go. Then I basically put all my information in and let them know that I dropped it off and all that, how much I the weight was and all that type of shit. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn this off. Close this. Make sure that's all reefers off. We don't need that on. Who's freezing in that motherfucker? I have to, definitely have to clean that shit before I head back though. Cause you know when you got raw meat, you gotta clean your trailer. Cause they do not play about that. There we go. Doors are closed. Um, Hershback actually sent you a message, an email saying if you want to buy this or buy this yourself. Um, I mean if they want to buy it for you, buy it yourself for only fifty dollars. But you um, had to take out of your check, so I told him to buy me one. This padlock is good. Got my keys. So I just got back to the crib, man. Um, so as I told you before, man, I got off till Monday. I mean, get myself, get situated, get my dog and all that stuff. Um, that's why she gave me a load to Arizona, because Arizona right next to Vegas. So as I dropped the load off in Arizona, came right to Vegas. It was like five hours. You know what I'm saying? So, but back there, if you can see, right there, if you can see, I dropped. My trailer, because she told me I could drop my trailer at my um, next load, which is, I got to take a load from Henderson, um, Nevada to um, Washington. You know what I'm saying? See, if y'all see before, I've been in Washington. You know what I'm saying? So I know I'm going to be prepared for snow, ice, all that kind of stuff, and uh, hills. So I'm definitely going to get some chains before I head out there. And yeah, man, so she said I can um, drop my trailer at my uh, shipper. So Monday, come back here, hook, a belt, hook back up to it, and... Um, yeah, man, get that load on there and head out, head over to Washington, man. It's another uh, thousand plus miles, so you know what I'm saying. Keep on bringing them. So after that load, I'm probably tell her, uh, take me over to the west, to the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? So if I can see over there, see what Georgia Georgia look like, Florida, all that kind of shit look like. Drive through that. So um, yeah, man, I'm gonna turn out this go. I'm gonna wait home right now, man. I go see my dog. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I might pop outside, might go to the club or something. I don't know. We're gonna see, man. But um, yeah, man. Stay tuned for the next video, man. I'm going to be discussing how my load went, what not to do. And um, you know what I'm saying? Just give y'all the content to help y'all out if y'all just get, decide to get y'all CDLs. So, yeah, let me get off this phone before I get in trouble, man. I'll have y'all later. This is your boy Premier. I'm out of here.